Hello pupils. Today we are going to start on a new topic called ratio. Now, what is ratio? Ratio is a way of comparing the relative sizes of two or three sets of items. Now, let's look at the objectives for today's lesson. One, you will understand that ratio shows the relative sizes of two quantities. Two, you will understand that given ratio does not indicate the actual size of the quantity involved. That means to say that the ratio does not tell you the actual number of the things involved. 3. You will understand the link between fraction and ratio. Now, let's look at an example. Mark has 5 beads. Two of them were green and the rest were blue. By looking at the model, you will be able to see that two parts is shaded green and three parts is shaded blue. Now, this is how you will write the ratio statement. The ratio of the number of green beads to the blue beads is 2 is to 3. You can also write it the other way round. The ratio of the number of blue beads to the green beads is 3 is to 2. Let's look at another example. The mass of baby Jane is 3 kg and baby Mark is 5 kg. So the ratio of the mass of baby Jane to baby Mark is 3 kg is to 5 kg. And if you were to write it the other way round, the ratio of the mass of baby Mark to baby Jane is 5 kg to 3 kg. Now I would like you to focus on the second objective which is to understand that the given ratio does not indicate the actual size of the quantity involved. The previous two examples showed the quantity. The next one does not. Let's look at it. John has some beads. Two fifths of them were green and three fifths were blue. Notice that the total number of beads is not given nor is there any indication what the two-fifth or the three-fifth stands for. So, according to the model, you will notice that I've indicated two parts to be green and three parts to be blue. This is how you will write the ratio statement. The ratio of the number of green beads to the number of blue beads is two is to three. Notice that the numerator is used to represent the ratio. Of course, you can also write it the other way around. The ratio of the number of blue beads to the number of green beads is 3 is to 2. Let's look at another example. 2 9 of the length of a pole is painted orange and 7 9 is painted purple. The length of the pole is not indicated. The pole could be 9 meters long or the pole could be 90 meters long. So two parts of the pole is painted orange and the seven remaining parts is painted purple. So the ratio of the length of the orange part of the pole to the purple part is 2 is to 7. Or the other way around, the purple part to the orange part is 7 is to 2. Ratio is also used to scale up a diagram from a map of floor plan to its actual size. For example, the sitting plan of your classroom is much smaller on paper compared to the actual size. For example, let's assume that the classroom table that you're, that you're using is 60 cm in length and 60 cm in breadth. As such, a 1 cm representation of a square on a sitting plan may actually represent 60 cm of the table in your classroom. So the ratio will be 1 cm to 60 cm. Now let's look at this classroom sitting plan. Now each square is 1 cm in length and 1 cm in breadth. It actually represents a table in the classroom which is 60 cm in length and 60 cm in breadth. As such, 
the ratio of the square on the sitting plane to the actual table is 1 cm to 60 cm. To conclude, in this lesson, you would have understood that ratio shows the relative size of two quantities. That given ratio does not indicate the actual size of the quantity involved and the link between fraction and ratio. Goodbye.